This morning, uh, former Greek minister Dr. Fria Koto and former energy minister Boache Jaku are expected to file their nominations at the NPP headquarters. We're also hearing that former trades minister Dr. Kunedu Apriko has been turned away because his documents are not up to my colleague. Samuel Mbura is monitoring events at the NPP headquarters for us. He joins us shortly. Uh, Mbura, uh, what can you report from the NPP headquarters? So, at the moment, as you indicated, Dr. Konedu Apriko has been turned away uh, because his um, documents were not complete. Uh, so, the elections committee has asked that he goes to complete the documents and then return. So, uh, what I'm learning is that he didn't add his uh, personal achievements or his contributions to the party as well as his uh, CV. So, he has been asked to go and get all those documents um, in touch and then, uh, I mean, intact and then come back uh, to go through the process. So, the team tells me that they should be back on Friday or Saturday to complete the entire. Uh, process. So he, he was the first person to actually arrive today and today we are expecting three of them to come and file uh, their nominations. Um, the former um, energy minister Boache Jaco is supposed to, um, supposed to uh, file his nomination today. We also um, have um, the Mr. Boache Jaco and then that of um, the um, Adainimo, former uh, MP4. Man Ponte also coming to file his uh, nomination. So at the moment, the supporters uh, are here to rally their support behind him. As you can see behind me, we have supporters uh, holding their, I mean, placards talking about the achievements of Dr. Efri Yakoto. So his team uh, is actually here to go through the entire uh, process there. So I I'll try and then get to him through as he has arrived here with his team to uh, tell us how they intend to go by the uh, uh, entire uh, process. So he'll be the second person um, to file nomination for today after Dr. Kennedy Apreko. But we know that the first person to file process in this entire uh, elections in the MPP uh, was a former trade and industry minister, uh, Mr. Alan Chermante. We also had the vice president filing his yesterday. So let me just get closer to the former trade minister, find out from him uh, what he and his team have here to offer. So uh, he's, he, he's just getting down from the car. I'll try and find out from him what he makes about that. So, so that is him. Uh, good morning, sir. Welcome to Joy News. You are live on Joy News. Thank you. What do you have to tell us, uh, you and your so, team? Let, let, me, let me meet my chairman, please. Yeah, yes. Okay. So if you could exercise. All right. So he'll be granting the interview right after the filing of the nomination. So uh, he and his team. They are here already. They are expected to go and meet the elections committee of the MPP and then they'll come back and address us. So later in the day, we are expecting um, Mr. Adair Nimo to also, uh, Bwachi Jaco to also come and join the entire uh, process here. So that is the situation here, Aisha. If you have further questions, you can ask. If not, you take over from me from the MPP headquarters. Well, that's Samuel Mbura at the NPP headquarters, and you see it's a charged atmosphere with the former Agric minister, Dr. Kutuifri, uh, going in to file his nominations. We'll definitely go back as we're hearing that former energy minister, Boachie Jacon, will also be filing his nominations. Definitely, we'll be going back to the NPP headquarters and bring you more as and when we get it. But